I'm okay, yeah, I'm okay now. But I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> Brenda. How do you how do you know what happened before I even tell it? What's going on? <laughs> hey Bev. You look so beautiful. Really? Yeah. Thank you. That's sweet of you to say. Look at my cheeks, they get instantly red. <laughs> Seriously, I'm a tomato right now. Something not very good. You don't care, why are you here then? Lou, I'm hoping we can play Pictionary to forget about this tragedy. I don't care about my hair. I need to like, I need to get some vitamins. If you, by the way, if you guys know, if you have thin hair, you and like just not healthy hair, hi ice cream, please become, <laughs> and it's not clickbait, but it's not like something uh, super tragic happened, but it was pretty tragic. <laughs> Comic book, I'm not trolling. Okay. <clears throat> If any of you know what I can take to be to have healthy hair, like, you know, on a regular, that would be so nice. And what I can use on my head for like shiny hair, because I don't like I don't like looking like Gene Simmons. Oh yeah, I do have collagen. I stopped taking it. What's wrong with me? Okay. Today, the unthinkable happened. You're gonna think, oh my gosh, yeah, this is not even a big deal. It is a big deal. Today, there were heat warnings, okay? It was like the hottest day. It was like 52 degrees. What is that in Fahrenheit? Somebody tell me. I don't even know. I am Muslim, yes. Yeah, it's really long, like, but it's thin here. 125? It was 125 today. 125.6. Make more TikToks? I might do it. I don't get paid for them, so I'm not motivated to. <laughs> Time is money, but it's advertising for my channel, so that's why I do it. So I might do that, more of them, but I have to do it in like landscape, um, not landscape, portrait mode. So we'll see. It's hard to do it with mukbangs because like, you know. Anyway, yeah, 52 Celsius today, okay? So I'm sleeping nice and, nice and you know, I'm dreaming about the Burger King in the desert. And no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't remember what I was dreaming about, but I was having a good dream. And all of a sudden, like, obviously, if the power goes out, I'm going to know, okay? So like, all of a sudden, my, I know my CPAP went out and I wake up and the fan is off. So if the fan is off, that's it. And like everything is eerily quiet. And I'm like, the power's out, the power's out. I start freaking out. Like this is this is possibly the worst thing that could happen to me, the power going out and the AC. So there's no AC, there's no electricity. And I'm stupid. Like last night I fell asleep, not charging my phone. So my phone was at like 20%. <sighs> What's a rolling blackout mean? Anyway, so in 126 degree weather, now I was like, oh my gosh, you know, like it's so hot that like our bed is right up against our window in our bedroom. It's so hot in there by the window that like if you're on the bed, you can feel the heat like, you know, so I usually have like the AC really low blaring and then we have the fan blaring and it's good. You know, I usually need a blanket because it's cold. So all that happened and usually it's happened like once or twice before where the power went out, not in the summer. No, it didn't go bad because... What happened was like, um, usually the power would come on in like 20 minutes. Like if it goes off, it's not very long. It's something in the building that the, the Hattis, it's called Hattis. It's like a superintendent who lives in the building and takes care of everything. If you have a problem, you just like message him. But Salah contacted the Hattis and said like, um, asked him like, what's going on? Like, how long is it going to be roughly, you know? And because <laughs> I was like, I was tired. I went to bed late and I'm like, I need my CPAP. So, so he said that he's not sure because it was like something with like the power was out, like with the ministry. So. Um, I'm checking like news updates online and like apparently like what happened is like between the hours of like the like, peak hours of 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. when it's like the hottest people were like it was like overloaded like the system electric grids or whatever were like there was like power outages in all different areas of the city too like not just here it took like three hours so what I did was I went into the freezer and I took Ziploc bags and I took some ice little Ziploc sandwich bags I took some ice and for I made a little like ice pack for Salah and I and I was just like putting it all over my body. I had a shower. Now the thing about Kuwait is there is no cold water like during peak hours. What happened was I turned on the shower. There was maybe exactly 30 seconds or like 45 seconds of cold water. So I went in the shower quick, you know, it was washing quick, quick. And then the, and then the water turned really hot um, because that's just like the pipes, like that's just like how it is. You know, like in the winter when it's really cold, the water's really f more freezing. Well, here, like it was on, the setting was on cold and it was still boiling while it was hot water. So I had to shower in like pretty hot water near the end. So laid on the bed and good thing, like we had, Salah has a really, really good power bank. So I was able to charge my phone. You can use the bidet. Yeah, you can use the bidet. 
Oh, if you use the bidet, the water's warm, Craig. Yep. It's not fire, but it's like warm. Yeah. No, Brenda, those days are over. I'm, I, you know, don't need to ask for money, mashallah. Thank goodness. Um, but yeah, it was bad. It was bad. Like, I don't know. I was laying here and I'm thinking, I was thinking like, what if I, we were in the elevator? Like when the power went out. So now my phobia of elevators has restarted. Um, yeah, I'm okay. But I thought I was going to like, honestly, I thought I was going to like perish. And the, the thing is, it didn't get, imagine it being stuck in our elevator is small. Like they don't have big elevators here. They're small. So that's hot. Yeah, everyone is, is so hot. But like, it's hot everywhere in the world. But like Kuwait is like one of the hottest countries in the world. So whenever, so whenever the power finally came back on it came back on after three hours you know alhamdulillah i was like i was so happy i like forgot about my back pain jolted up hurt my back all over again yeah i'm like paranoid about elevators i always make sure i have water and uh charged like we have to have a cell phone i won't go in an elevator without a cell phone so anyway we were thinking like should we like go outside and go sit in the car there's ac in the car should we go like drive somewhere and go have breakfast or something like that blink twice if you need assistance access to a generator no I don't think an apartment living, uh, my phone looking two feet long. What do you mean? I have no idea what you mean. Cold water to cool. Oh, I need yeah, a spray bottle would be good. Hmm. Probably have some that are almost empty. Perfume ones. Okay. So the story is not over. So the thing is, is, sorry, I can't show you my chin. I'm Muslim. It, it didn't get like too, too, too bad. Okay. Like at the beginning, I think it was like cold enough in here before that it just, you know, and the cat was just laying on the cool ceramic tiles and she was okay. I was so worried about the cat because I'm like, I don't want to go out and leave the cat here in the, in the no AC. Like that was my main problem. Um, walking down the stairs is fine. I don't have to take the elevator or whatever. It's, it was 126 today, Jackie Howard. It's probably 111 now. But anyway, I'm thinking if we go outside, I, we have to, like, I don't want to leave the cat. What if it gets too hot? And then I was thinking it's going to be hot. It's, if it's 52, it's going to be so hot just even in the car, like we're going to burn, like even with the AC. So I'm thinking, okay, let's just wait it out. Let's just wait it out. You know? So I had my phone charged in the power bank. I had my ice packs all over me. <sighs> Go swim in the ocean. Do you think the, babe, do you think the ocean is cold? You can open the windows ECP, but it will not do anything. It would be bad. I, I was hoping to that, like, you know, with the windows closed, it would be like, cause there's, it's so hot. It would just be hot air hotel room I know if it was gonna be a whole day yeah probably would have to so only about the last half hour I started sweating a bit you know I started like craving that feeling of the fan and then all of a sudden after like three hours I hear beep, my fan power going on and the CPAP was still on right because it was like it I didn't turn it off when the power went off so all of a sudden the first indication that the power was back on was the CPAP going full blast it was going Psh! the hose and so I was going oh CPAP's on <laughs> so yeah I forgot about my back injury I bolt up I, I oh like the pain was unbearable so like my back is messed up again that's why I have a pillow here <sighs> and then I turned the fan on right away and uh yeah the AC you hear the AC come on and it was like I hear it now the most glorious noise so anyway the, the update on the ministry was that it was an overload of the system which is not good because you know everyone's blaring their AC during this time and uh they said that unless people start conserving the electricity during the peak hours of like 11 to 5 they may hi georgian girl hi lois hi everybody i missed they may have to start doing planned outages for like no more than an hour or two and i'm like no please so i'm gonna like turn off everything the only thing that's gonna be on is my seat maybe my seat pap how many voltages do you think my seat pap takes the beach will be cold enough to cool off but when you finish swimming you will get skin burn from the sun ah uh, yeah before 8 a.m. and after 5. Shoot. Yeah, it is ECP. It's freezing in here now. Well, it's about the same, but <laughs> that's a rolling blackout. Yeah. So I'm, I, you know, so I'm okay. I wasn't, but I'm okay now. <laughs> the outage was like three hours. <sighs> I'm, I know a professional retired lady doctor helps people to lose weight eating things they love and enjoy. No way. Really? Cool. Message me. Mimi, I'd be on the next flight out. It was 42 degrees today in Canada, in Cornwall. My mom told me it was like 40 or something. So, yeah. Yeah, it might be businesses in that too. Yeah, there's a lot of malls. Imagine the huge malls. They have to keep AC. I don't do well in heat either, Jill. Yeah, time to pack up and go. It's high. There's heat crisis all over the world right now. There's no point. That's the thing. That's why I was like, let's just wait to travel because everywhere's hot. Texas Roadhouse is near where we uh, 
Well, there's a couple, I think. The problem with Texas Roadhouse is I ordered there once. I remember I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like, you know, bad complaining because like, um, okay, I was watching, I got into watching this like lady, who, like Lisa Richard or whatever. <laughs> it's like drama, so I won't talk much about it. But she lives in Pittsburgh and she's been without power for like three days now. Just like as an example, like I can't imagine. So I'm like complaining about three hours. Some people have no power for a long time. But like, it's so bad. Like, I don't know. Without, I need, it, it has to be like the North Pole in here or else. She's like, there's not going to be power till Sunday. Like, how is that even legal? How can you leave people without power for a week? Like, all their food would go rotten. No fan? No. What will you eat? You'll have to wait and see, intro. 67. What is 67 in Celsius? We usually have ours at like 18. I'm feeling good, but like I said, now my back is out again because I freaked out and traveled to Iceland. 127 in Celsius. Yeah, 52 is, yeah. Power is free, Katzy. Okay, my back the first time. <laughs> I'm not telling you. But the second time was jumping out. <laughs> the first time I spotted a chocolate mini on the ground and I bent over to grab it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Flannel PJs. Um, well, some, the thing is, is sometimes it gets... Yeah! Sometimes it gets really cold in here, so I like to wear the PJs. My favorite thing, my favorite thing, is the house being really cold and then you get to be warm. No, but that's probably not good for the electricity. So I'm gonna try to just keep it, you know, normal temperature. So, but we don't pay for electricity, like it's all included. So I hope it doesn't happen often, but I guess if they have to cut the power for like an hour or two, like it really didn't start bothering me until like the third hour. And then I was like, like near the third hour or whatever. And I was like, starting to sweat a bit so you're walking around with my birthday suit if that go hot yeah well <laughs> yeah cold bath yeah if we had cold water that would be nice I, i'm like i'm gonna have a cold shower i turn the water on and like forgetting that it's gonna turn hot yeah i was i didn't want to go for a drive like because i didn't want to go out in that heat even for two minutes and be in the hot car it would be worse i, I think and then like leaving i was worried about the cat like what if it gets too hot in here and she starts panting like i, I was just worried about her you know yeah people will definitely get really sick from heat stroke cars catch on fire they would dress the increasing legal bees with your mama brenda i'm not going to address stupid things <laughs> there's no way that's what bad happened today maybe clickbait a little bit i don't know i almost had heat stroke today oh. throwing up blisters everything yeah no, I don't think it was like heat stroke, but I was really like sweaty, like sweaty and oh, I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it. And I was panicking because I saw that that lady that I was telling you about, she had power for th no power for three days because like a tree hit the power line. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, if that's America, imagine like, you know, how long are we going to be without power? <laughs> like, what if the system is very different here and they forget about our like little building, you know? <laughs> I had heat exhaustion as a kid and I was laid up. Oh no, booby. Yeah, it's no joke. I think I caught it once too as a kid. Yeah. Could never got moved to a country that's hot like that. <laughs> well, in the AC, it's really not bad. But whenever there's a power outage, I panic. Yeah. Now my back hurts again. And now I'm afraid of elevators again. Babe, what am I going to do? Because if there's plan if there's power outages that could happen randomly, what if we're like taking the elevator and the power goes out and there's no AC or anything? I would, I, I don't even know what I would do. At least the Abaya, yeah, the hijab and the Abaya protect from sunburn. That's true. <laughs> I hate, I know. Base, Everest base camp. Imagine me trying to climb to Everest base camp with my freaking breathing and my uh, back. Aren't you able to wear less layers? Yeah. It depends. Elevators usually have a battery. Hey, Tim. Ivana. Yeah, something bad. The power went out today in 127 degree weather. Have a battery backup? Really? No way. I'm not taking the stairs. I almost died last time. Didn't you see? Didn't you see? I've been really into the burkinis. Really? Yeah, anyone can wear one. You don't have to wear the hijab ones. You can just wear ones that are, it's like a, dress, a swim dress, you know? Hi, Lady J. Dying on the stairs is better than dying in an elevator. I agree. Power went out today, Fufu Egg. Uh, no, just because I don't talk about, like, uh, do health content, like, telling you guys how many calories I had today, my weight, all that crap, doesn't mean I'm giving up on, you know, getting healthy. 
There's always the escalator, but they will have to make sure your Avaya doesn't catch in the metal. <laughs> yes. Oh, the power went out today, underrated vibes. Why does your, my, my living room is a bit narrow, like more, I don't know, but it's also because there's a lot, there's like 20 couches. No, he didn't film with you on your vlog. Well, not for you. What discoloration? I've always had this. Don't be a drama queen. <laughs> what was I talking about? So that was a little bit traumatic today. You know? Uh, like, yeah, my skin, maybe it's rosacea, maybe it's the heat. And right away, people think it's liver failure. The Skechers are almost, they're brand new, Brenda. They're only a few months old. So you know what it is? All my shoes, I wreck them because they go like this. My feet go like this when I walk. <laughs> it is tiring, the subject. I know, you know, I know. I'm not going to give up Like and just be like, okay, well, I'm fat and unhealthy. But I'm darn sure going to try my best to like not have to eliminate everything tasty, you know. Maybe eating a whole pizza is not a good idea, but I want to try to cook more, like for sure. You guys liked my meatloaf mukbang. That was yummy. I had mostly vegetables. Someone was like, this could feed my family of five. And I'm like, there's three slices of meatloaf, okay? And you're going to tell me that you have five people in your family you're going to feed with three slices of meatloaf, pal? I don't think so. What do you do? You give half of each. What the heck? And you know what I do? I kind of do like a trick. like So I pile the plate full of, you know, um, Brussels sprouts, a little strip of rice. And then the meatloaf slices, I cut them thinner so that I can have three and make it look like, you know what I mean? Three small slices or one big thick one? Skechers reveal? <laughs> no, they didn't get, they weren't, they didn't make me gassy. Well, it's hard to tell what the one culprit is, but no. Middle Eastern foods. Yeah, I do. Like I make a lot of like Middle Eastern style rice and, um, but yeah, like, um, Maybe I could try to make match booths. But the thing is, is like, it's so, it seems complicated. And it's so cheap to just buy here. Oh, well, match booth sounds good. Yeah. Normal sized meals. Too many emaciated girls in Gore World. Yeah, sure. That's what they say. The eggplant status. There's still a bunch in the fridge, but I did eat three of them. I, I love fried eggplant. I love frying it in the pan, making it like fried and soft. And then I put cumin and salt and pepper. And then I like eating that with rice and hot sauce. Have you tried to learn much of the culture so far? Yes, the culture, yes. I integrate myself in the culture pretty well. I feel hot, what's going on? I'm having flashbacks of what happened earlier today. Thanks, Soda and Sadness. Target bees, we had Target in Canada for exactly, I don't know, less than a year. House of Mirrors, yeah, we wanna go. We have to start doing more, my health has been bad. You think it's hot flashes? <laughs> I'm expired. Grilled and seasoned eggplant, the char. Oh, I wish I had a grill. I've never had a grill in my life. Maybe we can buy an indoor grill. Get an indoor grill. Do they, are they fire hazards? Propane barbecue and put it inside. <laughs> yes, no, it's not. I Something bad happened. My power went out today and, and it was 126 degrees Fahrenheit. Did I lose water weight? I don't know. Maybe. I was pretty sweaty near the end and I was miserable. Oh, thanks, babe. Thank you. You're very supportive. I appreciate you. What do you mean elongated phone? Oh my gosh. Is this what you guys are coming up with now? <laughs> the phone was literally two feet long. How come? <laughs> That's funny, actually. You can turn on ads while you're live. Don't put too many people. Don't put people get pissed. Gemini. Yeah, but I didn't, there's no ads, are there in between? What I do is I don't like the ads during the live, but then after I like them loaded up. Our power went up today, teardrop, and we had no AC for about three hours. No, I threw out my back again today. Rewatch your video. Filters change shape of plates and a phone. Really? Well, Salah filmed most of it. So maybe with the, the maybe like with my phone, because there's a filter on my phone, okay? But on his, there's none. People even did. Oh, there's no f uh, filter on the iPhone like a long time ago. So when he was filming, there was no filter. I, as soon as I heard the CPAP go and the fan beep, I got up. Because normally now, like since my back's been thrown out, I have to do things in like steps. I have to get up, sit up, then sit there and let my back adjust. Stand up, let my back adjust, and then I'm okay, like to walk, you know. And that's why you, at the restaurant, the stairs were hard to do because like, with the back pain, lifting my legs makes it worse. Yeah, sneezing is so painful or coughing. 
reverse fisheye lumbar support you see well right now i just have a, one of the couch cushions because we got to put them to use they should be used oh yeah that's better i need something for my bones <laughs> why anyway what happened also was uh so i hear the power go back on i was so elated like i was so happy and relieved i forgot about my back that i just jumped out of bed like i was laying like a seal and i just jumped like <laughs> i don't know how to explain it like swung my legs around really quickly and got up and i was like ow <laughs> my back i didn't even care I, I made my way to the fan turned it on turned the pappy off no the seat when the power went out it turned my cpap off so it woke me up and then i just had to wait for you know i did have a nap after and it was cold and it was wonderful and crisp. You know when you're moving your legs on the sheets and it's like all really cold from the AC? So that happened today. So now I don't want to go in the elevators anymore because between the hours of 11 and 5 because there might be a power outage. And I'm not risking that. Can you do a stair climbing vlog? I did in, my, in the restaurant. Boy, that food was delicious, let me tell you. Yum. Yeah, and Mon, imagine during a heat wave being stuck. Show the Skechers live. I'm not going out in the hall to get my shoes. And yes, we keep our shoes in the hall. Most people do that here. You see everyone's shoes. It's 10 in Kuwait. Go to bed. I don't go to bed at 10. Where are you been? Hi, Patty. Food looked great. Yeah, the steps. You can see me going up the steps very slow. Slower than usual. I mean, I'm usually slow, but it's because it would like hurt my back. Those are the first time taking steps since my back. Anyway, I hope it doesn't happen again. <laughs> That's my sad story. I wanted to do Pictionary. Next time we'll do Pictionary. Gore World Pictionary. <laughs> My back is bad again. Yeah, I threw it out again. Pool will help back. Yeah, but getting in, going up the stairs in the pool, I'm scared. What if I can't? What if I have to call the fire department? It's it's right in the middle, lower back. Like w lower, like near, near the tailbone. Is that what it's called? How come it's tailbone if we don't have a tail? Did humans used to have tails? I don't feel well yeah tangy i did take a bunch of no pain it's like it's like an, an naproxen like a strong anti-inflammatory i also have diclonifac um it i don't know it doesn't really seem to help much you know i wish i had a tail yeah i take the, the nsaids and stuff like that that's pretty much the only pain medication you can get here i don't know about in the hospital but when i went to the clinic that's what they gave me they gave me B vitamin injections. I thought it was like a pain med injection. And it was B vitamins. Oh well. It's good for you, I guess. Okay, I'm going to get off of here for now. Because my metformin is messing with my stomach a bit. Flop through the water in a pool and slide like a seal. <laughs> I wish. I'm not joking. Seals are so cute. I love them. I don't like watching the documentaries in nature, though. Where the, they get hunted by friggin' polar bears. Nope can't watch that they're just laying on a little piece of ice like this and then like <laughs> they can't move or anything <sighs> no brenda i'm so against it uh, okay yeah maybe i don't know if i'll be on back later maybe but if not then for sure a video so we'll see thank you guys thanks Rhonda. thanks everybody bye guys love you guys